Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I'd take you for a really casual walkthrough style video of my home while it's all decorated for spring in 2020. So let's head on inside and come and look around my home with me. But before we do actually, this is my front porch and I just did a video all about decorating this uh, in my last video. So if you'd like to see how it came together, then I will leave it a link for it in the cards above and in the description box below. But in that video, I mentioned that I wished I had some flowers out and it's just warmed up a little more. So I've been able to get a few pots of flowers out. I've just got some petunias, but I love how quickly they grow and how dense and how easy they are. And they look so bright and vibrant from the road. So here's my porch with, this is a different wreath from, than from that video. We actually sold that wreath to a beautiful subscriber. I'm so happy it's going to be part of her home, but I also love this one. This piece is also for sale in my mom's Etsy store if you're interested checking it out I'll leave a link in the description box below so let's head on inside and there is my puppies staring at me through the door but that's okay this is a walkthrough and my house has lived it so this is our vestibule I guess front entryway type area. I did a whole series of videos about decorating this. It's just a really small space. Hi. <laughs> and we live in a cold climate. And so this space is built into this house. This house was actually built in the 1930s. And so this space, you can see how small it is, uh, was built in to keep the cold out of the house and it does a great job of that in the winter but when it warms up I love to open up the front doors so I've just put some straw hats out as a simple bit of spring decoration and this basket of faux flowers otherwise I haven't done too much in here there's also some bright spring cushions on the bench over here so heading through into our foyer. This is Ghost, everybody, and this is Sasha. <laughs> so, on the back of this door, I've added this in new this spring. And I love how it looks. I've actually, whoops, I left the tag on. But it's from a newfound store I love called Laurel Grove. There you go. And it's just this really sweet little basket. Um, it's really thin, you can see there, um, and it just hangs so prettily on the back of the door. And the flowers are just some faux flowers, I think maybe they're from Michael's, and I've just shoved them in there with a bit of ribbon and done. And I think it adds such a pretty little touch to the back of the door. And then I just recently added these two frames in. And I did a video just doing some quarantine decorating projects around the house. And these are one of the things I added. And then I've just popped a galvanized bucket full of cotton stems underneath. It's good because this is nice and slim line. So when the, front, the door is open, it can open fully and not, um, I guess, run into anything. And then our dining room is over there. I'll take you over there in a minute. And that's the hallway that leads to the back of the house. And then I've also added in this table recently. This used to be in our living room, but I've just recently moved it in here and it fits perfectly in this space, which I think is great because it was such a odd little corner and those corners can be so hard to decorate sometimes. We've had this family rules sign here quite some time and I love it. It just reminds us all to be kind to one another and think of one another. But I love how the table looks underneath. 
And then I've added in a fern um, that I picked up from a local nursery in this pot. The pot is actually from Home Depot, but I love the color. And then this is the Home Body Book underneath by Joanna Gaines with a little candle. It's very simple decor. It allows me to store a couple of things in the drawer as well. And I love what it adds to the space. So let's head into the living room first. So I recently rearranged the couches in here. And excuse me if I'm out of breath, I am pregnant. I'm <laughs> 21 weeks and this is my second baby. And I guess baby girl is sitting right up under my ribs because mama is out of breath. So please excuse me with that. But I recently rearranged the couches in here. I've never done this configuration before with the chairs on this wall. And I really like how it looks. The armchairs, especially when you look in from the entryway through the arch. It's just a really pretty look. I love our couches. Yes, they're white. And yes, they do have marks on them because, you know, kids, dogs. Uh, you can't really see them in this video, but they are there. And I've just added some simple black and white cushions as well as ones with some pops of green to brighten things up. And then this mirror over here, I got just recently from Decor Steels. I absolutely love this thing. But I haven't exactly figured out where to put it yet. I think I have a plan for it. Um, and you'll probably see um, another room project I have coming up in a couple of months very soon on this channel. And I think it's gonna go in there, but I'm still waiting to decide. But in the meantime, I think it's quite sweet just sitting on the floor. And then these are these black wing back chairs. Kept things pretty simple and clean in here. And then on the coffee table again, I love lots and lots of greenery and plants in the spring. So I just have two of my little plants here. These are two smaller plants. I have a white jug and a fresh spring candle burning. I also just recently got these trays. Um, these were another decor steals purchase. If anybody watching loves decor steals as well, let me know. But I found a couple of really great pieces from there. So these are old sort of um, file drawers um, used as trays and they've got metal in the bottoms. And I think they just look really sweet stacked like that. I keep my coffee table pretty simple now. I do still decorate it even though I have a toddler, but I keep stuff on there that's either heavy and hard for her to pull down, or um, I guess I don't keep anything super sentimental on here, but she is pretty good at listening to her very least favorite word, which is no, uh, <laughs> and not pulling things down. So, so far so good. I don't keep the candle lit when she's around here though. And then this back wall around the TV. This is one of my most favorite projects we've done in this house, painting this wall, adding in the lights and the shelves. I just think it added so much and helps make a wall that would otherwise be very plain and just house an ugly TV um, quite pretty. And I love decorating these shelves every season. And I've gone with a predominantly white theme. Um, and while white would normally seem very, very neutral, against this kind of green wall, um, I think the white really pops um, and really stands out. And you can see all of the pieces really well. I got some new, these new milk glass vases recently. I love how they look up there. I have a few vintage finds on this shelf. The corbels, there is a pair matched to it on the other side, as well as this ironstone pitcher. And then with these shelves, I like to tie things together on each side. So there is a copper lantern on each side. And then this side, the pair to the other corbel is over here, as well as some touches of some mixed metals. Just keeping things very simple, very bright, 
touches of white and pops of green. That's how I love to do my decor for spring. And then to my left is our downstairs sunroom. I love this room. It is so beautiful. It's currently set up as my daughter's nursery and I will do a full tour through this room in another video. But I thought you might like to see just a quick little overview of it. We love spending time in here because it's so light. I mean, look at these windows. Look at them all. I just love how these old homes are built and it's so warm even when it's cool outside. Such a beautiful place to hang out and my daughter loves it. And then heading back through the living room, I did also just decorate this wall. This is a really huge European um, antique breadboard as well as a couple of tobacco baskets and a simple green wreath. This collection of items I think looks really pretty. This wall is very large. I, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera and I do still have to figure out something to do on the other side. I'm constantly on the lookout for the perfect combination of things. Back through the foyer, we enter into the dining room. And I call this room my garden room because it's so full of light and plants love this room. You can tell I love plants, love, love house plants. And they do just so great in here. Look at this pothos. Maybe it's a philodendron, I'm not sure, but it's loving life right there. This is my buffet. We have this gallery wall over the top, which I love with all um, paintings handed down to me by my grandparents. And I've created a really pretty little vignette on here. Some of these purchase pieces are new, some are not, some are vintage, some are not, but I love how it came together. It just has that really pretty garden theme. Adds a little pop of color with the yellow. I also don't usually have a tablecloth on this table, but I, um, I really like the change it's adding to the room. And this vase is a recent purchase as well. And I think it's so beautiful. I'm sorry, it's a picture, not a vase, but I'm using it as a base. And I've just added some stems I cut from a tree outside. This is good because it's not really thick. While it is quite tall, the, the flowers in it, it's not sort of dense, so I can still see people through it. My Monstera desperately needs to be repotted. It's going great in there. I love this new tray. This one is also from Laurel Grove. I just think it's so pretty. corner cabinets. Does anybody else have corner cabinets in their home? Because I find them such a tricky thing to decorate. I probably spent, I mean, on and off, I did this over a full day while doing other things as well, but I just kept coming back to it and kept tweaking it. But that's okay because that's part of the fun of decorating, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This plant always lives here. He loves it there as you can tell. And the pops of yellow are really pretty. Moving into the kitchen. Yes, I know this high chair is just there. And I just recently added this little bit of wallpaper on the end of my cabinets with a plant and some pictures. I did this on my Instagram, if you're interested in seeing that. I just documented it in my stories. And again, we do live here, so this kitchen does have things in it. My coffee cup I've been drinking today. I'm germinating some seeds in the window. Again, lots of greenery around my home. This kitchen is just, again, it's really bright. We have a lot of natural light in this house. 
my fridge is covered with magnets and ultrasound photos and all kinds of things. This is our coffee bar and then the sink area. I did just recently pick up this scale, which is actually a clock. And I think it looks really sweet up there with our family farmer's market sign. And this tree I just recently put in here, it was in the dining room and it looks really pretty next to the sink, I think. And it's really liking that window. Everything out. I bake a lot so my mixer stays out. And I love having my prep space here right under the window because I love looking out at the trees and at the street outside while I am preparing food. Turning right around to our pantry over there. And then this is our back entry area. So the hallway off the foyer leads into here. This is our back entry. I also have a video of us decorating this mudroom. I'll leave all these links in the description box below. This is kind of our back entry mudroom area. It's the most used entry. Even guests use this entry because we don't have parking at the front. We only have parking space available at the back. So that leads outside. And then back through into the kitchen. And then that is our basement door. Our laundry is also down there. And then this is the hallway I mentioned, which leads back through to the front foyer. I don't know if I've shown these before, but these are some vintage print, um, art or prints I picked up at a flea market of old chairs from different eras. I think they're so sweet down this hallway. And then also back here is my daughter's nursery. She's currently sleeping right now. So I won't show you that today, but that's her room there. Very convenient off the kitchen. Just doing a little hand around in here with her little tiny jacket hanging up. It's so cute. And that basket just holds umbrellas and hats and things like that. So that's it. Thank you all for touring my home with me today. I'm so glad you could join me and I hope you liked this more casual walk through. If you did enjoy it, I would love if you could give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And if you'd like to stick around and become part of my YouTube family, what you need to do is click the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye everybody.